Hello and welcome to Forest Tech. So recently made something similar for a client and based on its likeness, I thought of sharing this knowledge with the community. So let's just dive into After Effects. We'll work with any of the After Effects edition that you have with you. I'm going to make a new composition and my mode is set to alpha so you can disable or enable that but since we're working with transparency so we'll keep that enabled i'll add a new solid and call it background you can call it transition because this is the layer that's going to be your transition layer to black black is going to be the color that is going to reveal or conceal some of your layers i'm going to search for an effect called venetian blinds Let's quickly drag and drop that effect on top of our background layer just head over to transition completion you can just increase and decrease to see that there are these working already i'll just change the direction a little bit to slant it around 40 degrees it creates a nice and uh, around 37 is good probably increase the width a little bit more bring it down to something like around 200 i think that's the kind of width which i like Play around a little with feather as well, but I don't want to go into that feel on the edges. I want to keep it nice and tight. So now if you can just scroll through the transition completion, you can see that this transition is already working. So what I'll do is just add a watch, a keyframe at the transition completion at 100%, so that's nothing is concealed and everything is visible. And now if I just click my background layer and hit U, I can see there is a keyframe already on my first frame. I'll go right to the mid section of my layer and here I'll change the transition completion to zero so it basically hides up all information. So if you scroll back and forth you can see that there is this transition of hiding and revealing your image or video. I'll head over to the end and here transition completion back to 100. So it goes from nothing to completely hiding and then goes back to nothing. So Peak, hide. I'll head over to this curve and uh, set my keyframes to population to something like Bezier. So all of these keys are taking place smoothly. So I'm reaching from my first keyframe to the mid frame slowly and gradually instead of having that sharp keyframe transition. I already see it's working quite smoothly. I'll just interpolation for both of the rest of the keyframes as well to something like Bezier and make it more softer in the end and similarly the same with the start as well you can select all the key and do it this all at once as well yeah so I just want to hold part in the middle a little bit more longer that's why I'm giving a little bit more space a little bit more belt if you play this around you can see this transition is all quite smoothly just bells down in the middle and then peaks up in the end okay good so far now i'll search for another effect it's called flow and cc flow motion drag and drop that down interestingly you have two controls so there's one control right here that you can move around the second handle as well if you can just move around the amount, you can see that this, this first handle is creating this kind of web shape. And the same is happening if I increase the amount on my second handle right here. So I'll just move this a little bit more towards the right bottom and the first handle towards the left top corner to create this little bit effect there. And if I just scroll this second handle, it's creating that spider sort of a walk through this kind of spider web scrolling through your screen but I'm not really looking for that spider feel unless you are looking for that spider web here um, that's a different thing but I'm looking for a little bit of distortion now, if you're still around then you may consider subscribing and leaving your feedback because that really helps let's make it something like this slightly just bending and curving those lines along the so now I'll just keyframe my knot 2 which is my panel and just move it towards the top left corner and as you can see there is a keyframe on the start. I'll head over to the end, place another keyframe by moving that second handle to the right bottom. So my second knot is going to go to the right bottom. Now if I just 
look at my transparency and just uh, see how this is working scrolling back and front you can't see it right now but if I just enable the transparency you can definitely see how it's affecting it so we're getting those distorted lines now work well now I'll just uh, yeah satisfied with the look of it so far pick up both these keyframes and make them both change to auto busier so now they'll just smooth out and you can see that transition going more smoother from start till the end it just paces up in the end and that's looking quite satisfactory so far Okay, now let's over, head over to our main comp. In two of our video clips, we want to try this transition. And I'll just drag and drop them down into a composition. So that's my first clip. I'll just cut it right here. You can have your clips the way you want. I'm just giving you an example. Another clip on top of it, it'll just fit it down to the comp. You can just go to transform and fit to comp. Or use control alt f to fit it as a shortcut. So I'll just trim that clip down a little bit as well, just for the sake of demonstration. So the time through and switching over to a different clip. I'll trim the comp and yeah, now I have a clean uh, setup here, two clips. I'm gonna drag and drop my transition right here. And just place it right on top of these two so this is where the transition is going to take place so make sure that your black area the spot where there is exactly black for your transition composition that's exactly where two of your video clips or your images are joining up that's the adjustment you need to make yourself according to your need so what i'm doing right now is since my transition is a little too long i want to scale it down to one second so i'm selecting all the keyframes holding out and then move from the last keyframe towards the left side. So it's just squeezing down the time duration of my video clip. So now all the animated keys are trimmed down to just one second. I'll just trim the comp. That's just how to reduce down your composition. Animated keys in it. Okay, so I'll just uh, center up these two video layers. And now you can see this transition working well right. right let's just spice this up a little bit so what I'll do is just get back to my transition and add a ramp to this thing just look for a gradient ramp and I'll just drag and drop that on my background layer here you can already see a ramp to bottom but what we want is the ramp to go from left top to the right bottom. So I'll squeeze this first handle to the left, move the second handle to the right bottom, and change some colors. So go from red to darker red. Now if I just go back to my composition up, it should look pretty cool. Yeah, that looks pretty cool now. And if you want to add a bit more spice to it, just add a little bit of uh, audio. I'll just open up the waveform and you can see that audio is a little too long for my transition so I'll just time stretch and reduce the duration bring it down somewhere here align it just about there with the sweep if I just play it up yeah that seems to go quite well with the visual you can find the sweep or transition sounds the ones that you like I'm gonna reduce the sound to around minus 9 so it doesn't just overload or overshoot the visuals so back and again and I think that's about it so you've just designed yourself a really interesting transition that you can use in your on your channels on your YouTube channels or on your streaming podcasts and so on whatever you want to create in terms of visual that's something that you can use as a transition see now I've made a lot of these for my clients and I think there's something you can utilize well for your upcoming projects all right, so there you have a quick tutorial to create a stunning stylistic custom transition for your streaming channels, podcast videos, or generally anything that requires transitions. If you like what you see and hear, then a subs and like would always be superb. I'll see you in the next video. Till again, Forest Tech, signing out.